Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. I, um... Well... I believe my last episode was, you know, quite good. And... I thought they would continue. <laughs> Again, I love this game too much to just not play it. I can't wait for the next episode to come out. But... In the meantime... <laughs> let's just enjoy what we have. Alright. Right back where we left off. I think here we had... Now, my memory is terrible, so I'm gonna go into the cultist's place and see what I can do here. Good morning. What you have to do? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Great, given thing turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultist did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay. And what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. <laughs> I I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Hmm where? <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh nothing. Ashley, what? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up the ritual for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Two candles and a one candle. And a two candle. And a three candle. Alright. Done. What now? Now we... Oh no. Still alive and kicking, are you? The warden. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Oh. Yeah, hi. Hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a type B anyway. Fine. Now check it after my round. Warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough, go stall him at that door. I'll, go, I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing, unless he checked the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No. Go, before he notices we're not home. And keep until I have more of the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be the corpse if you don't get going already. <laughs> mop, 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 mop. Got the mop. Got the mop, got the mop, got the mop. Mop, 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 mop. Mop, 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 mop. Ashley, the warden's coming. Let's go hide in the closet. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh great, another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. <laughs> Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. Mm -hmm. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, he's not in it now, Andy. 
You actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yup. <laughs> I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? <laughs> I'm saving it for later, lay off. Yeah, we'll see how this, how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, looky here. Get a key to room 405. Brilliant. Okay, now we can get the fuck out of here. At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Ah! I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry? Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? Oh, yeah. My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mum and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I- okay. So you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yep, yeah, fine, whatever. We're going to be the f this flippant about this. It isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious as the consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who, to who, who do you think you're talking to? Oh, It's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in the hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. It would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is that no one even came to try. So my affection has officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> But it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Oh, Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's just get the hell out of here already. This is all it took to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ah, oh, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? The paper slip taped to the door reads 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know. Don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Unblock the door. Yay. Okay, note on the door reads 2XA, 1XB. I hope we get some clarity on that soon. In like episode 3 or something. No. It's going to 401. Okay, 302. Half eaten cup of noodles. No one in the fridge reads. No, no. Oh. I can't reread that. Shit. I clicked it too fast. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh, crap. Are we on it? No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Ah, huh, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had the key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Oh. I think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in passive too. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep the curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, uh, there's a key here. And the fourth floor key. Okay, I think that's the way we get in the stairs. 
if I remember correctly. I'm probably going to end this episode when we um, complete uh, episode 1. Not on the door reads 1 XA, but it's crossed over. That's probably another suicide then. 0 3. 2 XB. Going through 2 as we got the key for that. Looks like someone gave up assembling the furniture. Hey, did I give you my permission to go there? I don't care. Let me up the fucking door. A bunch of dirty dishes. Pictures full of food. Doodles and drawings. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What? Don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend open and open wide nicely. <laughs> Ashley. Fuck you. Get out, both of you. Leave before I make a scene. Hmm. Well, that was something. How can we get such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. <laughs> you think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after we, if she saw us, though? Probably not. But you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second one comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think I best bet it's just finished the ritual and used to get rid of the second wooden. Hmm, well. We can get this woman up to the cultist room. We've got a salt whopper. How on earth are we going to convince our lazy ass to even leave a room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? God damn it. <laughs> oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed. Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. <laughs> right, let's go back to fourth floor. Uh, um, the rune is faded out. We need to double check the rune is going to go somewhere, but all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at that point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we got the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. The whole come in, guns blazing. Oh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. Well, while you're at it, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. Let me think. So what's needed to fit the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Hmm. The bathroom shows of feces and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Ugh. Okay. It's ritual time. I have an idea. Oh. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden here up here with the walkie talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. <laughs> Alright then, let's go convince her. <laughs> or is there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's better to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Right, let's go back to 302. And then... There we go. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me! Ooh. What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. Ooh. No, no, please. I'll do it. I'll tell them everything. We'll see. <laughs> you press the walkie-talkie on. Uh, hello? Huh? Who's that? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. 
Well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room four or five? I guess that widow really croaked. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. All right, good. Let's go. I look over her now, and what, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep it quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Lele, like, catch. Shows you something. The lighter. Yay! Finally, we get to light the candles. Ah, something is here. Who are you? I can't see. You are asking me my name, human? Uh, what do you offer? Ugh, yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, him! I offer him! Ah, what the... Ah! <laughs> So, uh, well, how is it? Human with a tar-colored soul, I'll give you this. Ooh, got unidentifiable, sm unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. <laughs> the entity has left, and you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. <sighs> but no matter, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. <laughs> you decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a vis viscous pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. <laughs> Good key to second floor. Good gun. Very nice. <laughs> Time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. Oh, wrong way. Alright. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth I put you holding her in place? Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting that you'd want to take your chances with that for no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Oh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering on why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. Own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe how dumbass you are when it comes to women. <laughs> for the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking bluesy comes around. Yeah, I'm not sad, but what is it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cuck brain. <laughs> now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here over places. I... No, shut up. <laughs> shut... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without those loose-lipped whores. Oh, you're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. Ooh, so it really was you. Yeah? All I did was without a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. <laughs> and I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I... Fuck, what a prime example of your... You! Just you! 
<laughs> you would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me. Ha. Huh. I'll do it then. I can. Just for you, you know. I have the thing just for that. Back at your back. And cold just like it was way back when. What? No. Screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you'd listen to what I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the last three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Oh, of course we are, just... Forget this, can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then, I'm going. No, no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you, isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. Oh, I feel so bad for Andrew. Like... <clears throat> He is just so trapped, and there's nothing he can really do about it. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what? And he... Don't... You chose the log blank in the cave, in the crate, with a fucking cunt choked. Ha! <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy, my poor Andy. God, she's fucking horrible. So, that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what is true? You chose to do it, and you chose me. You chose me, me. You backpackling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. Ah. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't, because I'm the only one you can talk to. Whatever, when you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like Blank did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. So if you can come up with a reason, a compelling reason not to, I won't. But I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. But if you plan ditching me anyway, then fuck you. <laughs> if it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. I don't give a shit about blank. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us. So what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave or behave if you behave? Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? <laughs> no, I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hit Lele like you wouldn't believe. Oh, You better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I got the keys to the second floor and also the wooden gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. God. The fact that the entire relationship can go from so angry and toxic to so sweet at the same time. Just. God. I, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Aha, look. An open window. Great. Jump. <laughs> Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean... It is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it. Isn't it like a rope thing we can use to climb down? Ah. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> what if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it by the scent. Oh, yeah. Now just jump into your arms once you're down. Will that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. We've got to set something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. The carpet. Oh, what will we use again? Is there something in the floor above? I've completely forgotten this part. 
Go to third. Is there anything third? Is it the chair, maybe? Uh, is there something on the fourth floor? A plastic plant. Um, anything in here, maybe, that I could use? Barrier documents detail in the selling and acquiring of organs. Ooh, I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, god damn it. Ooh. Mm. I genuinely... Hmm. Well, looking in the jacket pocket, you find a wallet with 666.66 bucks inside. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing a dead, dead man's wallet, will you? Let's split it. Aw, oh, aren't you a sweetheart? You got 333.33 bucks. I'll, I'll use some of mine to treat you to something someday. Maybe. Aww. <laughs> right. Let's go back to the second. Um, I said I just secure the carpet with. Um, oh, what can I use? Go to fourth. What the plank? Hmm. Maybe the nail gun, actually. I'm gonna use the nail gun to, like, staple it or something to the, uh... Yeah, you can use it to, like, nail the, the carpet to the, to the window, and then we go down it. Like that! Um... There we go. It doesn't look safe. That's gonna be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. <sighs> Alright, you first, then. Damn right, I'll go first. I am a lady. <laughs> you climb down very unladylike. Hey, we're finally out. But what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh, and we'll show someone's identity or something and to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You got it all figured out. Good. God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town on the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some travel will drop their ID. And we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find out all the, some grunt somewhere too. Some grunt was somewhere too. I can't speak today, Jesus Christ. I Even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Look, look out. Let's live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't play the trolls across. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything is going to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I oh, am. Yeah. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise, I'm a away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't tell you. I didn't get to tell you before. But the friend I caught while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. <laughs> but that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. <laughs> stuck, huh? Are you? Oh, yeah. Completely stuck. <laughs> no. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. End of episode one. Want to save? No, fuck you. <laughs> That's going to be it for this episode. Well, thank you for watching. And I will hopefully get, get back to you with uh, the start of episode two. Sometime in the near future. It depends how fucked I feel with work. So... Thank you for watching and goodbye.